G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, oh my gosh, the biggest ever skull mold I have ever, ever seen. This is the one that I usually use and I thought it was a pretty decent size. It holds about 300 grams of resin, um, 10 ounces or so. But look at this giant daddy of a skull mold. Oh my gosh, this one could fit inside that one actually. <laughs> I won't do it because I don't want to scratch it. But look at the difference in the size. Oh my gosh, it is huge. And um, I'm going to play with it today. <laughs> um, I am going to put that aside. Great mold, but I just wanted to try something a little bit bigger so there it is look look there's my hand okay um, I will link where I got this I'll have to look it up I can't remember but uh, I'll link where I got it for you um, the other thing no, oh, I've got so many exciting things to show you today I have mixed up my platinum river table resin um, and I did put it in my vacuum chamber I only had to do it once because it's so thin it's like water it didn't take long to um, get all the bubbles out anyway um, now when I looked at the bottle of the platinum not the platinum yes the platinum river table resin um, it said it can be cast to five centimeters which is about that 50 mil so I'm gonna have to do it in in um, two layers but the other exciting thing I wanted to show you is <gasps> da -da -da -da! look at that <gasps> Is that not just to die for? It's um, it's foil, plastic. That's plastic too. And I just thought, oh my gosh, because I've been using a lot of that, you know, the fantasy film and things like that lately. And this reminds me of fantasy film, so I'm going to put that into my skull. I am. Um, <clears throat> I don't need. I don't need all these extra little bits though. So I probably take those off um, I'm, these are just glued on these bits so I don't think I'm going to need all of that uh, so anyway the plan the plan is to pop it in there I don't want it sitting like on the base I want it kind of sitting up here can you see can you see those those eyeballs in there I kind of want it sitting about that height so about there I think so I don't want it going all the way down I want it sitting about there maybe even higher because it's a big it's a big mold maybe you want it just sort of sitting in the middle no no because I need to have I need to have a base I've got a light to put into it now I'm just talking out loud because um, thinking out loud I should say <laughs> I always talk out loud so I need to allow myself that much for the base and then about from there to there so I need it to be about there in the center which yeah, is about that touching those eyeballs there so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to just snip off these snip off this like I said it's just plastic I don't know would, would I leave those on would I I guess it couldn't hurt to leave them on for a little bit of extra bling but anyway um i need to what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour my resin in no this one's going to be too high cut him off i guess we could leave one on maybe in the front there like that because where the um the teeth are you could possibly stay there mm, nope nope <laughs> they're all coming off guys they're all coming off they're all coming off just with my little clippers we can keep those we can use those for something else alrighty um, now um, I do need to I'm just gonna snip that there because I don't need all that but I don't want to snip it too low because I want I want to be able to see it's gonna fall forward so I'm gonna have to put something there to hold it while the resin's going off otherwise it's just going to sink to the bottom so I need it to 
sit up there so I will work that out um, but the next thing I want to do is I want to pour my resin in and I've made I weighed the other skull and I said to you it's about 300 grams so I made up uh, just under 300 grams I did 200 grams of part A and I did 86 grams of part B so I've got 286 grams so I'm going to pour that in um, and then I'm going to pop this back in my chamber because these petals are going to no doubt trap air so I'm going to pour down onto my stick to again avoid splashing and hopefully not create too many bubbles and I'm going to pour all this in that should probably come up about halfway almost halfway I'm assuming and then I am going to pop it back in my vacuum chamber to get all the bubbles out that are trapped in those petals because I'm sure there will be some in there. What do you think? I, I think there will be. All right, so let's do that. I can see a few bubbles there already. And this, this oh gosh, it's heavy now. Full of resin. It might actually stay. It might. I just need to like put a stick or something there. Like even, you know, even just something like this. I might tie a little bit of string around it or something, but let's pop it in the vacuum chamber. I'll take you over there with me. Hang on one sec. I'll put this in the chamber and then I'll come back for you, okay? Stay right there. When I'm doing small amounts of resin or a small cup, I'll use my resin as airless. Um, but for big jobs like this, uh, I'm going with my vacuum chamber, which has this pump attached to it so it's in there and I'm just going to open the valve and I'm going to I don't know if you can see that switch it on there and we will just wait I know it's a bit dirty it's it's just kind of stained it's old <laughs> it gets a lot of use So that's the gauge going up. It's not really going to be sucking any bubbles until it gets sort of way down here. So we'll just have to wait a minute. And I'm not fussed because if that flower stem has fallen off to the side. I just want to get the bubbles out. And then once I've got the bubbles out, then I'll position the flower where I want it and um, you know, attach it with some string or something so it's not falling down because I want it to be suspended in that skull but you can already see some of those amazing colours can't you so oh, plus I've got another idea for it so I'll, I'll show you that later on but we'll do step by step but I will show you this is going to be such a fun project such a fun project so looking forward to it Alright, so we're uh, <clears throat> minus one there in the red is what we want the little needle to get to. And then it should start bringing some bubbles up. And it's a bit difficult to see through my dirty screen. How's that? Let's get a bit closer, hey? How's that? Okay, so we can see some bubbles coming up now. And the resin was totally clear. So <laughs> all these bubbles have been trapped between those flower petals. There they come. I know, it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? It's not terribly exciting, but anyway, there it is. So we are on, almost on minus one. I'll let it go a little bit more until that needle gets right down to the bottom as far as it can go. Sometimes it doesn't go all the way. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> like it will one time and the next time it won't. So it's just how it is. I don't stress about it too much. So what I'll do is, um, once it gets to, I don't think it's going to go any lower on this particular instance. 
So what I'll do is I'll just turn the vacuum chamber off and I'll leave it in there for five minutes and it will just keep vacuum, it'll keep sucking the bubbles up basically. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get any further. So I'll close that. I will turn that off. And now that is holding that vacuum inside. So it will just keep keep sucking. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to it in say five minutes or so. And hopefully all the bubbles will have come to the surface and popped and then um, I'll release the pressure by slowly bringing this down and um, yeah I'll catch up with you again once all the bubbles have gone so I'll see you real soon okay guys so as you can see a bit of a change of plan uh, when I had the stalk coming up um, I wasn't sure like how to attach something to the stalk so that it wouldn't sink and tape you know around it was you know, it would just slip. So anyway, came up with this idea. So I just got some um, some thread. Um, I was going to use just fishing line because it's clear. And then my husband said it's really, really difficult to tie a, a knot, you know, where you wanted it. And I had resin all over my gloves and everything and everything was slippery and sticky. So I ended up using the just some white cotton. And I'm just going to snip that off. And yeah, I just tied it. I, I took the I took the thread around the flower that way, and then around the flower that way, so it had like a little like a little hot air balloon. Um, and then I put the whole mold into my Let's Resin curing machine. Normally, this resin would take two days to set up. Guess how long it took, you guys? Guess three hours it was done it was nice and toasty it was set so yeah amazing i'm using it a lot more now than i have done previously because it's winter and I'm, yeah i'm getting a lot more use out of it um now i've mixed up some more resin um same again the platinum river table resin i did the same amount i did 200 grams of a i did 86 grams of b i put the resin in my vacuum chamber um, because it's so thin, it only needs one one go at it. You know, bring it up to um, vac temperature, or oh, not temperature, pressure, pressure, <laughs> vac pressure, um, and then let it out. And yeah, it's crystal crystal clear. Although I think when I put my stick in there, I might have put a bubble in it. So um, I'm not going to put this back into the chamber. And the reason is because it creates such a vacuum, it will pull the resin away from the sides that's already in there, which means my next layer is going to go in down the sides and everything. So I'm not going to do that. It was only basically for the, um, for the flower. I didn't want the bubbles in the flower. Although the bubble, the flower is sitting a little bit above the um the rest of the resin but I think it'll be pretty much she might go down there I think it'll be pretty much covered in resin <laughs> because it was covered in resin and then I pulled it out uh, you know to put the string on it and it was still a big sticky mess but I thought that would be the best option for me okay so it's almost covering the flower now so I'll move my stick always try and pour your resin onto a stick so it's not going splashing in from a, a high distance now hopefully I've made enough I might not have made enough I'm just trying to get it to be as high as this little stem that I've cut off couldn't cut it all the way back it must have it must have something metal in there I could only cut um, yeah, a little bit above which was plastic but yeah I think it must have a metal stem all right let's just give that a real quick little torch in there uh, so it is almost to the top doesn't look mixed properly on that little bit you know when you, you probably shouldn't scrape 
<laughs> the resin off the side of your cup because sometimes it's not mixed all that well. There's a bubble. I see a little bubble. All right. So, um, oi, I saw you. That bubble. Did you see that bubble just pop up and have a look around and then disappear again? Oh, I saw you. All right. Um, now, just be careful with the mold and bump it too much. Don't want any resin going in the sides of what's already there. Um, now, oh, that's the other thing. Now, this is the other thing I was going to talk to you about, and I'll do it right now. I have got, I've got this little light. Um, it came in a pack. Let me, I'll just grab them. Stay there. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten of them, and it comes with this particular one comes with two remotes. Okay, so what you do is you take one out, um, and it's got a little bit of plastic. No, uh, that had a bit of plastic. It comes with batteries. This one's got a battery in it. You know the round, flat ones. Um, CR two o two five. That one has. And this one's got two batteries in it. Like, I didn't expect them to be quite so thick. I thought they were going to be like that thick, half the size. Um, but anyway, when I opened it up, two batteries were in there. And I got a fright because it was kind of spring-loaded. And I opened it and two batteries jumped out onto the floor. <laughs> and I put them back. Tightened it really tight. These are totally, this is what they say, totally submergible. I know, right? Submergible. Um, 10 underwater bowl, lantern, pond, pool, <laughs> underwater. So I figured, well, if they can go in water, they can go in resin. And I was just going to sit it in there. Now this, this is the side of the lights. Okay. And that's, that's the bottom. So when you do put it in, it's got to go that way. So I'm just going to get it out because I'm not going to put it in now, but I want to just make sure. Uh, see, I've got another centimeter or so of resin that I need to put in that. So I'm going to mix up another centimetre of resin. I'm not going to turn this on just yet. Um, I'll show that to you later. But the good thing about this, now what you can, oh, I've got so much to tell you, it's so exciting, I don't know where to start. You can, as I said, submerge it, okay? But, and it'll work. You can turn it on and off with your remote. So you don't have to like leave the batteries on all the time. There are some where the batteries stay on for like three days and then they die off and that's it. It's dead, but this you've got the remote. You can turn it on and off whenever you want, and probably last years. I don't know. Depends how much you use it. But um, I thought, why not have it removable in case I ever do want to change the batteries? And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I got, I made this. <laughs> um, I used a little shot glass, um, and I poured resin in like three quarters of the way of the shot glass. And then just poured silicone in the top of the shot glass and then unmolded it and I've got that. So it's a little bit bigger than this, just a little bit bigger. Maybe not quite as deep. But anyway, that's what I'm going to use. So I need to mix up some more resin now. When it's, um, when it's cured, I'm going to just, or when it's almost cured, when this won't sink, I'm going to pop that in. Yeah, are you following me? Are you picking up what I'm throwing down to you? <laughs> Once it's set, I'll take that out and it'll leave a hole in the resin and I can put my light in, out, in, out, in, out. How amazing is that? So that's what I'm going to be doing for you, okay? And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So I'm going to mix up some more resin. Oh, I'm not going to bother with putting the video on. I'm going to put up another half an inch centimeter of resin um, and then I'm going to let it cure and then... We'll come back and we'll pop that in and we'll put some more resin in, okay, to hold it in place. So that's what we're going to do. Right. See you soon for the next step. It's the next day. Um, it was too late for me to do any more work on it yesterday. So it has set now and the resin is up to these cheekbones <laughs> I guess they are now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little piece of silicone my little silicone piece in there oops hang on I want to do it the opposite upside down upside down I think that's going to be 
about it. I don't want to go too close to here because I want to be able to get some resin around that. I think it's I think it's kind of sitting central to my flower below. So that's it. Now all we need to do is pour this resin in, but I do want to leave enough room just along the top there. I want to go to where the teeth start. So that's where I want to pour this clear. Um, I have made up more than I need because I'm going to use it for something else. Hopefully that little silicone plug will stay there. I was a bit worried that it might float, but I don't think it will. I think it's heavy enough that it's not going to float. You can see a little bit of hair or something on the side there. So I don't know if you can see. I've still got a little bit of area left there. I can still see the teeth on the side of the mold. So I want to cover those up. So a little bit more. And a little bit more. It's hard to know until you actually start doing it. I think about this side. The teeth at the front are a little bit lower. A tiny bit more. And that's basically going to be it. Made a few bubbles <laughs> pouring it in. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, that'll leave us just a... Uh... This mould is the same as the other mould. It's It's got more room here than it has there. So what I did was last time I ended up tilting it. I might have to do that again, which means I have to take some of this out. They just don't sit level. And my table is level, I know that. But um, these don't seem to be level, these skull moulds. Because this is almost touching the resin here and then up here we've got much more room. So I'm going to just put something under it and like tilt it forward like that. Otherwise when I do my top layer it's going to be uneven. So what can I use? What can I use? I'll probably just get, just get a little stick I think. A little pop stick. And I'll just pop it under that back little flap there that it's standing on. I think that will be will be fine. Yep, that should do fine. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'll leave it like that to cure and then I'll come back. I can't decide if I want to do black or whether I want to do like a, a dark purple. I may do the dark purple with a little bit of a little bit of glitter or something in it so yeah all right so that's it um i will bring my curing machine over and just put it over here and let it cure um it'll be done in three hours and then i can do my next coat right see you then all right here you go guys i have got my last layer ready to go now this is a gorgeous gorgeous purple it is from Lorez. It's called Luscious Plum. It's really pretty. I did have to <laughs> pop the container into some boiling water just to sit for five minutes because it had gone hard. But that's fine. That's just how you re rejuvenate your pigment pastes if they've gone hard. All right, so now what I want to do is basically just pour this in. Let's see if I can get around there. <laughs> without spilling get around there let's just let that settle for a minute again don't want to do too much to it in case I loosen the resin that's already attached to that mold and I don't want any purple going in between so we'll be we'll be careful with it all right a little bit more just need to bring that up to the level of the top of this little disc here Hopefully we're not going to go over the disc. The disc is sitting a little bit lower than the top of the mould. Um, and that's just because my little light is a bit deeper than that little silicon disc. So that way I can still have the disc sitting in there and it'll be at the same height with any luck. I 
probably can't put any more in there, I don't think. All right, now, while that's just sitting there, shall I show you? Do you want to see the lights? I know, you've been waiting for it, haven't you? Um, now, I don't know if they're going to flicker or not, but if you're opposed or allergic <laughs> to flickering lights, look away. Charlie! No! Guess what time it is. It's ready. It's still warm. I've had it in my uh, resin curing machine. It took an hour and it was done, but yeah, it's still warm. <gasps> now, I've got to get that out. So, let's just pick it out with this little skewer. Okay, maybe I should start making these and selling them. <laughs> if anybody wants a, a hole for a light. You know these little, uh, you know these little lights? No. Oh, yeah, no, those little ones that come in little, have a little flame on it. Oh, that fits too! <gasps> maybe I should start making those for you guys. Anyway, you let me know if anybody wants one. Maybe I can start making them. All right, now that's done. It's just occurred to me that I have to try and unmold this huge, huge mold. It's massive. I wonder if I, I wonder if I need to spray alcohol down the sides. Now these sh these sides here are very sharp, so be careful. <laughs> I hope I can do this. Oh my gosh, I don't know which way to do it. I don't know which way to start. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to spray some alcohol because this is how I do it with my others and it makes it a bit easier. So lift that, get that in there. It makes your fingers a bit slippery. That, that's the only thing. Get that in there. Get that in there. Get that in there. All right, now we're going to do a bit of a a massage and see if I can just kind of spread that alcohol around. See it's it's loosening already. Okay. Now last time I did this it kind of was like giving birth and it went pop <laughs> and sprung right out. So oh my gosh. Maybe if I do it this way. I don't really know how to it. <laughs> if I was doing it without you guys watching, I'd hold it up to me like this. But you won't be able to see what I'm doing, so just have to just bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Ah. Oh, gosh. I don't want to Scratch it. Okay, I'm going to put some more alcohol in there. It is loose, it's just, I think it needs a little bit more. Because I could only spray it so far up. Okay, that's better. Look. What about in here? I could do with a hand. Can someone come and give me a hand? Oh gosh. Ah, right. That's gonna. Oh gosh. No. <laughs> oh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh. It's um. It's just big. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It is like giving birth. Ah. Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, out of the eye. All right, now let me try not to, um, I want to touch it. What's that? 
Is that a bubble? Oh, gosh. Oh, no, it's my flower. <laughs> it's my flower. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Actually, a little, oh, gosh, might be a little bit wet there still. A little bit. I've taken it out a little bit early. It's a little bit sticky just there where the join is. Oh, no, but that's the, um, it's the, it's the clear section, not the purple section. Oh, and there's a hole. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. Wow. Oh, look at the top. Oh, wow. Let me put it down. I don't want to get fingerprints on it. How's my mould? Checking my mould instead of checking my... Is it all right? Uh... Oh, it's upside down. It's inside out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was looking at it and going, oh, that doesn't look right. All right, it's okay. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is beyond exciting. Look at it. I don't know how to pick it up. Maybe I should put some gloves on. That's all right. I'll hold it like this. <gasps> Look at it. There's a slightly a sticky little bit just there for some reason. I just have to be careful. All right. Now, I guess I could have put the flower a little bit higher. It was, it was, um... Like when it was in there like that, it was really hard to, to know like how far to put it. But if I do it again, I'll just drop it down a little bit more. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. Look at it. It probably doesn't even need a light. That is just incredible. Look at it. <gasps> wow. And look, can you see my purple base there sparkling? All right, here we go. Are you ready? We're going we're gonna to do this. We are going to put the light in. Are you ready? Maybe I need to turn the lights off. We need to kill the lights. I'll do this first. I'll have a look at it in daylight and then see. We should put that a little bit higher up now. <laughs> it's all, I'm never happy, am I? Let's see. Yes! It fits, it fits, it fits. Yay! Okay. Now, just do that. And I'm going to bring you down. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Now, maybe I should turn the lights off. Should we turn the lights off first? Or we'll just have a look. We'll do this first. All right. Are you ready? I am going to push the on button. One, two, three, go. <laughs> that was a bit of a deflate. I think I needed to push this one. Is it on? Is it on? <laughs> Hang on. Let's try again. <laughs> I think we might need the lights on. Here we go. I'm going to press the on button. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't think I pressed it like aiming down at it. There it is. It's on. It's on. It's on. Look at that. <gasps> wow. How amazing is it? Oh, look, you guys. You just, you can't fathom how beautiful it is through the camera. I'm going to go around and turn off the lights. Hang on one sec. All right, here we go. That's with my, all my ring lights turned off. So it's just my overhead lights on. You can see the flower in there. Look at that. All right, now, let's see if I can do this again. <laughs> okay, ready? On. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, just forget what I did before with all the ring lights on. <laughs> and we look at the, look at it now. Ah, amazing. Should we try the different colors and see what it looks like with the different colors? Yes. All right, here we go. Red. Ooh. Green. Oh, this is so much fun. Purple. Orange. Green. It looks a bit teal through the screen. Blue, which looks purple. I think we're going to get lots of different colors because we've got this dark purple background and also the sort of holographic petals as well in the foil. Orange, light blue, purple. Have I already done that? 
yellow. Oh gosh, that's bright. And then we've got, we've got a teal down here. And then lucky last is pink. Pink, look at that. And then back to white. White. <gasps> Which one do you like best, you guys? Oh, I don't know which one I like best, but this is fun to play with. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this is just hilarious. Oh, the yellow, the yellow. Wow. Okay, I think the yellow is is eaten a bit on a stick. It's making my purple look a bit brown, though, isn't it? Trying not to get fingerprints on him. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I love it. Okay, let me know what you think of it, guys. There's the back. Amazing! But yeah, I think I probably could have had the flower a little bit higher up. Like, down. <laughs> I was worried that it was going to be like touching the, the skull. So, But on the other hand, being lower like that, it spreads the light out more, doesn't it? Like when you're looking at it, because it's lower, when it's reflecting, it's really reflecting right out. Oh my gosh, that is so incredible. Let's go back to white. Was that white? That's white! Oh, it's amazing. Maybe I'll like that one better. I want to show you all the colors in all the different views. This is so much fun. I will, I'll find where I bought it, this big skull. Um, and I'll link it down below. The flowers, just, just search foil flower or foil rose, something like that. It'll come up. eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Alibaba, wherever you want to look at. I'm sure it will find it. Oh my gosh. All right. I need a coffee. Actually, I think I need something a bit stronger after all that excitement. Oh my gosh. All right. I absolutely love it. This has got to be the best thing I've ever made. The best thing I've ever made. I wonder what it'll look like. Let me turn it off. What it'll look like with, um, it even looks amazing like that, doesn't it? Just, just like that. Look at that. There's the flower. You can actually see the flower now. And if you wanted to, you could leave the gold stem longer so it looks as if it's, you know, sitting in there properly looks really good from the back <laughs> and the top um i wanted to try it with um this little light this little light get that out uh, hang on, i'm gonna put you down right that's just that little light oh it flickers you know those little um Oh, I've got a packet of them. Little little tea lights. That's what I'm t talking about. The little battery operated tea lights. And it kind of flickers too. Oh, amazing. So you don't have to go and buy, you know, the lights that I use. I mean, they're great. You get all different colours. But if you want to just use what you've already got, you can just pop a tea light in there. Um, and then if you want, you can just lift it up and there it is. And then you can change it over to this one and turn him on. Whoops, turn him on. <laughs> there we go. Turn that one off. So anyway, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed my video. That was so much fun. I've enjoyed making that and sharing it with you. So thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> And um, I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Okay, take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now. Oh, my gosh, I'm just so excited. Beyond words. Beyond words. Bye for now. Okay, I'm back. I've turned off all the lights in the studio. We are in darkness. <laughs> I've turned them all off. Here's the doggies. <laughs> Turn them all off. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. In the dead of night. I just had to, you know I had to, turn off all the lights just to see, hey? Just to see. I'm going to be playing with this all night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, some of them work better than others, so that's for sure. That's the yellow, back to the white.
Okay, I gotta go now. I'm gonna show my husband. He's gonna freak out. Okay, take care, guys. Love you. Bye for now.